Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. So today we're going to be talking about this moving head from B Topper. On the website, it doesn't really give it a product name, but I guess it's the B Topper LM108. And it features 36 3 watt LEDs that are RGBW. So I have a link in the description below. While you can find these on Amazon, I have a manufacturer direct link where you can save a few additional bucks. So B Topper is a brand well known for their mini head spider light. When they approached me to review this light, I was elated. And so they have a warehouse in the US, so you can place your order and it will get to you fairly quick. It got to me within the week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, so that was the outer box to help protect this during shipping, and let's go ahead and open the inner box. So here is our IEC cable, an instruction manual, a mounting plate bracket. At the bottom of the box, I found some mounting plate hardware. And here is our moving head. This has a 15 degree beam angle that is non-adjustable. This light offers full motion, a full 540 degree pan, and a 270 degree tilt. It weighs 10.1 pounds, 12 inches tall, 10 inches wide, and six inches deep. So this light definitely feels pretty substantial. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel exactly like lightweight, but it doesn't feel like overly big and overly cumbersome. So that's really nice. So you can see the LEDs right here. And here's the front with our favorite controls. It has these two handles, which is really nice to have on a light of this caliber and this size. And then on the bottom here, this is where you would install the bracket. So it's just like that. So I'm just quickly showing you. So I only did one but it's kind of hard to screw in there and I definitely think you need a hex key which is not provided. And if you just want to set this on the floor or like a totem, it has these four rubber feet. And so on the back it has an IEC cable, that's where you plug it in and you can daisy chain it out with a more uncommon IEC out. You have your DMX in and out and on and off switch. All right, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and try it out. Okay, so let's go through the menu options. So there's like a DMX set address, so you can like change the DMX address between the value in 1 and 512. It has a 16 channel mode and a 9 channel mode, depending like how many channels you want to use and like how much like built-in functionality you want in your DMX programming. All right, so I have this fixture pulled up in the sound switch and it has a 9 and 16 channel mode. And the main difference is 16 channel mode has like some more built-in presets you can leverage with DMX programming. So there is a show mode. So in this mode, you can choose the type of operation you want. So you can do DMX mode, sound active mode, an auto mode that kind of is more slow and another auto mode that's kind of fast. And so sound sense is where you can like choose a value of like how responsive do you want it in sound active mode. So by default, it's set at 80. Let's just keep it at that. And you can like invert the pan, invert the tilt. You can adjust the white balance as well. You can reset your fixture. All right, that's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Let's put it in fast mode, shall we? All right, so what do I think about this moving headlight? Well, first off, build quality is excellent. I feel like this is one of the best build qualities of a light from China that I've ever reviewed. I think it's really good. It feels really durable, really heavy duty. Um, I love that it has these handles. It does have a fan with operation, but it's not too noisy. It's relatively quiet, and it doesn't get very hot during operation, unlike some of the other movers I've reviewed on this channel. And also, when you're working with moving heads, even like moving head washes, you have to make a lot of decisions you have to like choose the color, you have to choose the rotation, 
you have to choose like the beam angle. And this is this really dead simple operation. It's one beam angle. You just choose a color, you choose like your movement and that's it. There's no more decisions. So that's kind of cool. But at the same time, I personally like having that functionality. I like having that flexibility to be able to change the beam angle or have it rotate just to give some variety. And for me personally, I feel like this is too one trick pony. And also I'm more of a fan of the aesthetic of the all in one LEDs where each LED can produce RGBW. And this has LEDs for like each color. And this makes it look like one of those entry level PARs that I've reviewed on this channel and like putting moving head functionality with it, which I don't know how I feel about that. But I know for some people that this will be appealing and the price is really good. Around 250 for two of these, I mean, it doesn't get any cheaper than that. So this is a really good deal. Um, I thought like the auto modes were all right. So what are your thoughts on this mover? Let me know what you think down below in the comments section and please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.